Imagine how many amazing artists have trodden these floorboards. I'm at Melbourne's iconic Forum Theatre, which originally opened in 1929. And as you can see, what a beauty she is. But it's not the performers that I'm here to see, it's an artist from behind the scenes who has made this theatre the place to be. It's showtime! <laughs> Ben and his team of four plasterers worked on the upgrade of the forum, restoring the plaster work to its former glory. Benny! Hey Adam, how are you? <laughs> very good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, very good. How well, impressive is it in here? Yeah, look, it's a beautiful theatre. Um, we're very, very privileged to work in here and uh, it's a jo job of a lifetime, actually. Yeah, look, we were here for a total of two years. And with a job of this magnitude, precise planning was essential. Nothing could be overlooked during the reno, because when you're dealing with a building that holds this much heritage, you only get one shot. As you're pulling it apart, you're learning how they've actually put that together, aren't you? That's exactly right. We yeah. call it indu industrial archaeology, where we have to actually study how the moulds and the fixtures have been put together first yeah. in order to take them apart neatly, safely, and obviously help us reinstall them. Basically, we had to relocate this 30-metre heritage wall uh, from the position in line with these pillars over here yeah. right back. Um, moving the wall back exposed a massive void of uh, open ceiling, though one of the little surprises that we found was a dome that was actually being, that was actually hidden in the ceiling. Yeah, that's remarkable. And, I mean, so this one here is the new one, and then the others are the existing, is that correct? That's right. Uh, you, you can't tell the difference. And I've heard about this bloke called Brutus. Brutus. Well, Brutus, Brutus is a star of the show at the Forum. I'll go introduce you to him. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, the story with Brutus, basically, a few years ago, right. uh, he was taken out of his original position um, and r ran to the front door. I think someone wanted him more than the theatre. Um, upon being caught by security, he, he was dropped on his head, which decimated decimated yeah. his head. I think we counted up almost 12 pieces, <laughs> um, which really upset the owners and the staff, um, as Brutus is a bit of a the mas mascot of the theatre, so to speak. So yeah. they were really happy to see him put back together, yeah. uh, as we did. And it made he's uh, looking pretty impressive back there, so you've he's done a remarkable job. He sure is. He's looking bold and proud. Yeah. Sure. I tell you, I, I wouldn't mind, Benny, if we're allowed to go to your workshop and see you in action, mate. And... You're going to get your hands dirty. <laughs> that sounds like a good job. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, it's the factory, mate. Welcome to the factory, Adam. It's where the magic happens, Benny. Sure is. Uh, what are we going on here? We've got some corbels drying out in silicon moulds at the moment. So when we make the original uh, reproduction, yeah. we mount the original reproduction from site to a mounting board, yeah. then form a silicon jacket over that, and then a supported fiberglass or hard plastic case to keep the silicon in one piece. Okay, this is our long run table, which is made uh, used to make long lengths of cornice. Ben can create any shape cornice, as he can custom make the template to match. Probably about a four or five step process. This one is called a run cast. So this is a reinforcing fiberglass. Then build up the layers of plaster. Just put a little bit more over just to keep the fiberglass in place. The final pass, which should get, render the product finished. So there we go. That is great. I tell you what, can I have a go at this, Benny? It's, I know it's messy, but it, you've given me some inspiration, mate. I want to have a go. I want to get my hands dirty. Sure can. We've got a little project over here for you. <laughs> Sweet. I tell you what, the detail in this ceiling rose is unbelievable, mate. Sure is. All right, here we go. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Perfect. You're a natural. Well, I try and tell my wife every every day. But... Do we have to work over this like concrete once it's filled up? Yeah, we do. So we have to strike uh, what we call strike off, yeah. um, which is just basically taking the level out. But because this one's called what we what we call a fluted rose, uh, which has got holes holes for venting in okay, it. Keep going. Uh, that's about right there. Here what we have we got here? Oh, this is a rule. This will help you smooth off the edge and take the excess plaster off can that I we don't do the need. Honours? You can, mate. I like it. Benny, I can't wait to see the finished product. 
All right, we'll wait a little bit and we'll be ready to, ready to pop out. Oh, this is just a little bit exciting, isn't it? Now, this is the fun bit. <laughs> so just pull up? Yep, pull up. <laughs> and voila. Oh, that is amazing. That's right. And that's it. And you can see the venti. Well, Benny, well, I have to say, thanks so much for sharing your knowledge with us, mate. That, I'm absolutely blown away by how all of this comes together. It's fantastic. Uh, you're welcome, Adam, and you've done a really good job. Oh, cheers, mate. On that note, I'll be taking this home with me. Catch you later, mate. Catch you later, Adam. <laughs>